Hi everyone, Sean with Jaspies CaseBreaks.com here doing 2020-2021 Upper Deck Extended Series Hockey 12 box case break pick a team number three where we're giving away a sealed box of Upper Deck Extended Series uh, to one of the people that has at three or sorry two or more teams in the break. So how do we enter to win free Extended Series box? Buy two or more teams in this break, get entered to win, no max entries, two teams, one entry, four teams, two entries, six teams, three entries, etc. If you only buy one team, you'll not be entered. Top name wins the box of 2021 Extended Series. But for the break itself, 12 box, hobby case, no vet common ship. And there you go. So here is our list of customers and respective teams from Josh X-Line and the Ducks down to Sean O'Leary and the Jets. Last spot mojo in there, Jens McLeese and the Devils. And here's our case. So the very first part of this break is literally going to be me opening this case and pack stacking all the boxes. So not the most exciting. Uh, if you want to actually see the break itself, just fast forward in the video if you're watching it on uh, replay till the point of where I start actually going through the cards. Um, if you want to just stick around for like the recap at the end of the young guns and rookies and anything of significance, um, take a look in the notes of the break. The description of the break or the video you should see a uh, little indicator there that says uh, recap with like a timestamp you can just go to that click on that it should take you to the recap if for some reason that's not working uh, then my apologies but uh, just fast forward to that portion in the video No, I think it's just funny because, like, clearly, if you took, like, but, but, I mean, if you look and if Chris Middleton ends up being, like, an all, like, an all-star every single year from now on and Drew Holiday does as well, then, yeah, it's easy to look back and be like, well, look, of course Giannis won a championship because look at the team that he had. But we're talking about straight right now. If you look at what Kyrie, Dwayne Wade, Chris Bosh, and everybody else, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry... You know, and all these other guys that LeBron has paired up with, Kevin Durant has paired up to, to win championships, you would easily say that Chris Middleton and <laughs> Drew Holiday would be the very last pick out of all of those people if you were to draft them. You know what I mean? Based on right now. So it's just very funny that like people are like, you know, oh, yeah, don't, don't be so quick to say that that Milwaukee doesn't have a super team and Giannis didn't have won it without a super team. I'm like, what are you talking about? That's just garbage. Kyrie might be overrated, but he's still highly regarded compared to those other two. And he's still a hell of a player. Overrated when you're a superstar still makes you a superstar. And I do have, I think I grabbed it, yeah. I do have the loose box here for the giveaway as well, the sealed box that will be given away at the end. I should probably move that over here before I forget to do that and have to end up doing a second video.
But remember, LeBron went back to Cleveland and still had a super team. It's not like LeBron went back to Cleveland and the struggling team and, you know, pulled up their bootstraps and won it, but... They moved immaculate collegiate football to August 11th. Nice. You know what's funny, French? I was on there the other day and I was looking and I was like, I didn't see any of it. And I was like, oh. Like, I, I just happened to look for it for you. I didn't see any on there. And I was like, oh, interesting. And it's funny how Cleveland fans were so quick to forget that LeBron left them to win a championship in Miami and made the biggest mockery of team changes of all time with the announcement. Love has sucked, Billy, Big Willie. But the thing is, he, at the time, was still regarded as a very good and should be good player. So that's like saying if James Harden had absolutely sucked this year for the Nets, trying to say the Nets weren't a super team, right? But guess what? When they signed James Harden, it was because he had expectations of being a great player. So, yes, it was a super team. I don't think I, I said that they are the same caliber, but saying it in regards to him being the third option, right? That's fine. So th then say Kyrie. I'm not saying that he's the same as Kyrie, but you're using the third option on a team, right? So Kyrie was a third option. Kyrie ended up hurt this year for Brooklyn, right? Didn't contribute, but he was still the third option. Well, okay, there, there you go. Kevin Love could barely stay on the court. What about Kevin? What about uh, Kyrie this year, Willie? Could you say the same thing about him? Would you still consider Brooklyn a super team? to seem smart at all. <laughs> One, I've never tried to claim that I'm smart. I'll actually say the opposite pretty easily. Okay. I'll do that for you, Big Willie. Don't want to offend your earlobes. But I, I believe you're taking this out of context because what we're talking about here was a comment or a post about somebody saying that Milwaukee had a super team this year because of how much better the numbers of Drew Holiday and Chris Milton have were than Dwayne Wade during the time that LeBron and then won back to back in Miami. So in that sense, yes, Cleveland was definitely a super team and compared to them to the uh, Bucks were 100% a super team sounds can we hear that let's hear that uh how can you say that how will the box the super team
to hear the the the, the loops you have to jump through to to say that the Bucks are a super team. So because they performed well this year, they were and they were all stars. Like how? Because this year they were all stars? Come on. Come on. So because they performed well in one year, that makes them a super team. All of those players have been big names for years, not just this year. Is Dwayne Wade and Kyrie Irving bigger names than those guys? No, I don't. I don't watch. I just play with cards. So are James, are Dwayne Wade or Kyrie Irving bigger names than Chris Middleton or Drew Holiday? If you took like I said earlier, like I said, I don't think you were listening. Uh, if you took James Harden, or sorry, if you took Kyrie Irving, um, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, Clay Thompson, Steph Curry, right? You took all those names and you added Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday, and you were to draft from those names. Who do you think the last two picks are? wondering I mean you're the only one here claiming that I think everybody else in the chat would disagree with you so that everyone knows I think is a disagreement <laughs> Pat Connaughton Well, no, I'm just asking, Willie. One, Harden wasn't in that group that I listed. I listed Kyrie, Chris Bosh, Dwayne Wade, Steph Curry, and Clay Thompson, who are the people that LeBron and Kevin Durant paired up with to win their championships. So what I said was, in regards to that group, who are the last picks if you add in Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday? It's clearly Chris Middleton and Drew Holiday. And I, I doubt you'll disagree with that. So, your book wouldn't be a bestseller let's put it that way because he won you a fantasy league makes him better than Kyrie I'll bet you there's quite a few people that have won fantasy leagues with Kyrie that would disagree with you and I'm betting you're not an author so I don't think your book really means that That was the best video I've seen. Are you an author? Did I knock what you did? You are an author. Nice.
Who's drafting? What do you mean, Oxer? Sure, none of us have. Well, not not team specific, Arthur, or coach specific, or GM specific. Just like if you were if you were. Uh, if you were betting, like if you were drafting based on like best available, you know what I mean? Obviously Drew Holiday, Chris Milton are not going before any of those other guys on the list. Super cool. I'm sure we would definitely not want that. I'll have my people get in talk, touch with your people, and we could be people that don't do business. Clearly, yeah. We couldn't stand to have women around. Men only here. You know? What's up, Rosario? Mind you, there's like five girls that are here, but no big deal. Who's counting? You wouldn't choose Kyrie last, Arthur. Just straight off of ability and talent. Yeah, no, we're not going to do that, really. You're a rapper. You make lots of money. Remember, we've all heard about you. You can afford a pack. Spend all that cheddar. That's a good one, French. Spend all that money. All that big willy money, you know? French is actually our... Uh, Probably true. I bet you you don't pay for that either. Asking for free stuff. It's okay. You were you're boring us now. Goodbye. Is that him, French? You think so?
should, uh, French, look up his, uh, his YouTube and let me know if he's got any raps on there. I'll forget about him. You want me to buy your Jeter Rex? Honestly, I'd love to have it. It's just, it costs way too much. How much you want for it? Definitely had that vibe. He didn't even he didn't even type in a freestyle. You you had typed in a freestyle, he didn't. What kind of rapper asked for freestyle? Not a good one, that's for sure. Think he's a country rapper? I'm gonna have to go look him up. Like Uncle Cracker? Jeter, Ichiro, 3K, but he's got that Japanese market, and Ichiro doesn't sign as much as Jeter. Um, I mean, I think he's still got two grand for it. Easy, right? Ichiro, don't, never underestimate the market for Ichiro. He's got that Japanese market. And, like I said, he doesn't sign as much as, uh, as Jeter. Jeter, Griffey, or uh, Trout. Surprised each roll only went for 3k. I was told between five to seven. I don't know how if each row went for three, if they why five to seven on Peter. But hey, you've got the card. I mean, I put it on eBay. Put it on eBay with uh, with eight thousand or best offer, right? And see if you can get a five thousand or seven thousand dollar offer. Like, what do you want to sell it for? Can you believe these Shohei Otani's are now like thirty, forty bucks. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Which I have, ones are I have like a hundred of them. Dude, do you know what's funny is uh, do, do you remember do you remember Nick's stack of PSA tens? Yeah. Um, you remember how he had those in like the what was that box that he had it in? Yeah. Like the what was it like ten dollar box or whatever? You know those are all selling for like one hundred fifty now, right? Yeah. Look, you're interested in this? I might sell this too. Yeah. Uh, let me know. I'm definitely interested in that. Is that numbered? No. No, I don't think it's a number one. That's the number cool. one's more expensive. Yeah, they're super expensive. Yeah, I'll buy that. Okay, cool. I'll check it out. My buddy, my buddy with the red, Otani, he's now he's now asking two hundred thousand. He was literally he was literally asking sixty five like a month two months ago, and I was like I was like uh, I know. Ten K with best offer. I know for sure I ain't getting anywhere near that, but that's what I was told to do. Smart idea. So you've already gotten a three thousand dollar on eBay? Minus fees, that's what, twenty seven hundred? Roughly? I mean, why don't you wait until his uh, Hall of Fame induction and then list it? You know all this stuff is going to spike around there or like a month before. Randy Johnson sold for 931 Yeah, but that's a picture.
Reggie Jackson listed at 3,500. Well, what uh, Rex? What offer? If it, if you got an offer, which offer would you immediately accept? You know what I mean? Like, what dollar amount are you like? If I get this offer, I'm just gonna take it. I'm gonna say yes. Because the hard part too is you gotta think of this. The reason I was saying that I thought the Ichiro would probably be a little bit more than the Jeter. Remember, Jeter was uh, part of that Topps Transcendent Hall of Fame box and every single box had a Jeter one of one right so how many cases were made 50 something 50 or 100 was it 50 even if it was 50 that's 50 more Jeter one of ones that are out there right and I get that it's transcendent instead of museum collection but it's still the frame frame you know so there's at least 50 more Jeter one of ones out there because I think he was the was Jeter the super fractor I want to say so so you gotta think there's that many more Jeter one of ones that have hit the market in the last year that's another reason why I thought that the Ichiro might actually be a little bit more I mean, I would assume that there's one for every year of museum collection since they've been doing the wood, right? Did you really? Oh my god, please send that to me. I need to know. Yeah, 12 subscribers? How's nobody heard of him? No clue, man. What's up, Obi-Wan? How are you? Everything is good, buddy. Everything is good. I hope everything is well with you as well. I mean, I would base... I would just expect it to be... Wait, are you saying a 9? Is it a 9 or a 10? Which one is it? I'd say 10 would be a little bit more than raw, maybe. Nine, probably right around raw. What would have been bad?
$7,500 offer. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, I'm glad you didn't do that. I feel like you might be able to get somebody to, to click yes on six grand. I, honestly, I'm surprised, but... Did anybody give, what reasoning did anybody give you five to seven? This is, oh yeah, in, in regards to effort, because there's so many more packs. There's 24 packs per box, 12 boxes. So you're looking at 288 packs. Right? Compared to a jumbo, which is, is that 12 packs in a box? Right? So yeah, this is much. Hobby, on the other hand, this is probably right around the same as Hobby. Except for I feel like those Hobby packs open easier. But yeah, nearly 300 packs opening. And these packs are like, like they have like a like maple syrup on them or something. A little bit sticky, a little bit harder to open. 255 spot, that's what I'm saying. So Rex, pass on the savings. Sell it to me for 1,055. Make $1,000 right now, right? Then I'll sell it, and I'll make a thousand, and then everybody keeps making a thousand. No, don't do that. Hey, do you see Angels pulled up Brandon Marsh, and then the bullpen sucked again? Best thing the Angels had going from David Fletcher's hit streak is gone. Fair price would be for that burrow I sent you to pick up. I totally forgot which one it was, French. I can go back and look at it and try to find pricing on it. Have you seen any comps at all? I honestly don't even remember what it was. Um... So French, I forgot to tell you when I was in uh, when I was in Colorado, I went to that card show. I happened to have a a mosaic Nebula Chris Paul, just raw that I had had. I bought from somebody for cheap. <laughs> it's, it's Chris Paul and it was a Nebula and it's him in an Oklahoma City Thunder jersey, but it's first year mosaic and I was like, yeah, it's cool, right? And I took it. I got it for dirt cheap. I took it to uh, to Colorado because I was like, well, if anybody's ever going to buy this, it's going to be now. Because they were up to nothing, you know? <laughs> and uh, I was like, he looked like, a, like a, a superstar. So I was like, maybe it'll be finals MVP. I traded it to a dude for a uh, Justin Herbert encased auto uh, BGS 9510. With, uh, with the gold, bolt, gold bolts inscription, not patch auto, just auto. I thought that was a pretty good value. I was like, okay, cool. So I, I got rid of a card that I have no clue why I bought it other than the fact it was a one of one and it was cheap. And it's first year mosaic. And I got a card from my PC that I bought. And it's number 31 out of 50 which is my number, so. All positive things. Last box.
Yeah. I was trying to think. I don't think I have any LSU stuff at all. I know I have Ohio State stuff. I got Duke stuff for basketball. I got Ohio State stuff for football for sure. Not Burrow. But like Nick Boza. Dwayne Haskins. I'm trying to think if I have any LSU football. Friday, huh? It's my birthday. It is. Gold vinyl 101, Justin Herbert was pulled. The, uh, are you talking about the downtown? I did see that. Yeah. I don't even... Stuff like that, I don't even try to make offers on anymore. When, uh, when Don Russ came out last year and they had the optic previews in there, somebody pulled an optic preview gold, Herbert. Um, that was number 10 out of 10, which is jersey number. And the guy was asking, like, had certain offers for it, like 500 or something like that. I, like, snuck in there and tried to offer him 700 for it. Somebody, because, like, I was like, I don't think... Anybody's really paying attention to him being his jersey number. And somebody sniped it for a thousand. I was bummed. Good luck, everyone. Actually, let me grab my sheet. Here's a reminder of who's got what teams. So, 38 minutes into the break, and we're into the good stuff. Logan Stanley for the Jets and Sean O'Leary. Uh, Keandre Miller for the Rangers and Jason Wehner. Jake Bischoff for the Golden Knights, Sean O'Leary. Nolan Foote for the Devils, and Jens McLeese, Last Spot Mojo. Joe Chronicle draft picks, downtown. Yeah, I mean, people love those short friends, right? Carter Hart to 299 for the, Phil, uh, for the Flyers, and Darren McKenzie. Cody Curran, Acetate Young Gun for the Ducks, Josh X-Line. And Hayden Verbeek, Upper Deck Exclusive to 100, Young Gun for the Canadians. It's Canadians, right? Yeah. Uh, Montreal Canadiens and Martin Klaus. Sasha Shemlevsky for the Sharks, Mike Rosinski. And Arthur Kaliev to $29.99 for the Kings. John Rubner. Pius Suter, Dazzler for the Blackhawks, Sean O'Leary. Dylan Cousins to 500 for the Sabres and Patrick Fleming. Cole Holtz for the Kings, John Rubner. That is Peyton Krebs for the Knights. 
and Sean O'Leary. Cal Foot for the Lightning, Mike Grzynski. Bowen Byram, that is for the Avalanche and Sean O'Leary. Cameron Hillis for the Canadians. Martin Klaus. Drew O'Connor for the Penguins. Eric Joklich. And Josh Norris for the Senators. That is Leo Kaur. Patrick Hodrenko for the Rangers, Jason Weiner. Alex Diorio for the Penguins, Eric Joklich. Anthony Monta to $29.99 for the Red Wings, Sean O'Leary. Vero Heiskanen for the Stars, Dazzlers, David Rodriguez. Hayden Verbeek for the Canadians, Martin Klaus. Niels Hoglander for the Canucks and Martin Klaus. And Connor McMichael to 1000 for the Capitals, Sean O'Leary. Austin Strand for the Kings, John Rubner. Timothy Liljeren for the Maple Leafs. That is David Harrell. The gold on that makes me think that it might be numbered, but it's not. Uh, that is to 100. That is Taylor Hall for the Sabres. Patrick Fleming. Alexi Heponyemi for the Panthers. And Patrick Fleming. Creel Kaprizov. Wild, Brian Croft. Ty Smith for the Devils, Jens McLeese. And Vitek Vanashek, Capital, Sean O'Leary. Mikhail Maltsev for the Devils, Jens McLeese. Looks like baseball is going up on site for next week. Uh, I do not know. I have no clue, man. I'm sure that it'll uh, it'll go up early though. Is it released a Wednesday or a Friday, Miguel? I would assume two days before. Michael Bunting for the Coyotes and Jason Wehner. So uh, if it's Wednesday, then I would assume Monday. Alexander Romanoff for the Canadians. 
Martin Close. Also pay attention to Sunday, though, because since they're going to be packing up stuff for the National, he might put it up early. Callum Booth for the Bruins. Darren McKenzie. Ian Mitchell for the Blackhawks. And Sean O'Leary for Select. No way. that It's already... There's no way it's up. Yeah, that, that checklist won't be up until the day it releases. Until the end of the day it releases. Somebody will piece it together, but they don't release it beforehand. Not a chance. Uh, Timothy Lilsgren for the Maple Leafs again. Was the other one uh, gold? So is there different colors for those? Uh, Maple Leafs, that is David Harrell. Logan Stanley for the Jets, Sean O'Leary. And Alexi Hepinemi for the Panthers. That is Patrick Fleming. Hayden Verbeek for the Canadians. Martin Close. It always is. It's only going to go up. They did post post it today. Interesting. I'm guessing that it comes out Friday for the first off the line then, or it's available Friday for first off the line. If uh, they go checklist. Alexander Romanoff for the Canadians. That is Martin Klaus. Artem Zub for the Senators. Leo Kaur. Carey Price to $29.99. Canadians, Martin Klaus. And you've got an acetate Paul Stasny. For the Jets and Sean O'Leary. And an upper deck exclusive to 100, Anthony Duclair for the Panthers. And Patrick Fleming. Cole Holtz, Young Gun for the Kings, John Rubner. Patrick Rodenko for the Rangers, Jason Wehner. Alexis Lafreniere, Rangers, Jason Wehner. Mikhail Maltsev for the Devils, Jens McLeese. Austin Matthews to $29.99 for the Maple Leafs. That is David Harrell. And Acetate of Jay Beagle for the Canucks and Martin Klaus. Callum Booth for the Bruins, Darren McKenzie. Artem Zub for the Senators, Leo Kaur. And Peyton Krebs, rookie class auto for the Golden Knights, Sean O'Leary. There you go, Sean. Congrats. Alex DiOrio for the Penguins, Eric Joklich. Uh, Kevin Lonkinen for the Blackhawks and Sean O'Leary.
Ian Mitchell for the Blackhawks. Sean O'Leary. Alexi Heponemi for the Panthers. And Patrick Fleming. Hayden Verbeek for the Canadians. Martin Klaus. Ian Mitchell for the Blackhawks. Sean O'Leary. Gabe Velarde to 1,000 for the Kings. John Rubner. Jake Bischoff for the Golden Knights, Sean O'Leary. Philip Kurashev for the Blackhawks, and Sean O'Leary. Sidney Crosby to 1,000 for the Penguins. That is Eric Jocklich. Cameron Hillis for the Canadians, Martin Klaus. Patrick Kane to a thousand for the Blackhawks, Sean O'Leary. Frederick Hondemark for the Sharks and Mike Brzezinski. Connor McMichael for the Capitals and Sean O'Leary. Alexander Romanoff for the Canadians. Martin Close. Drew O'Connor for the Penguins. That is Eric Joklich and a Alexander Barbanoff for the Maple Leafs. That is David Harrell. I thought that was going to be another auto. Victor Soderstrom for the Coyotes, Jason Wehner. Nolan Foote for the Devils, Jens McLeese. Brent Burns to $29.99 for the Sharks, Mike Krasinski and Matisse Kivlinis. Uh, I believe this is the person, RIP, that just passed away. Columbus Blue Jackets, David Harrell. Saved many people, it seems like, in his... Uh, time. Pierre Oliver Joseph for the Penguins. Eric Joklich. And Michael DePietro to 75 for the Canucks. Martin Klaus. Sasha Shimlevsky for the Sharks. Mike Krasinski. And Alexander Romanoff for the Canadians. Martin Klaus. Alexander Barbanov for the Maple Leafs. David Harrell. Creel Kappers off. Nice one there for the Wild. Brian Craw. Yosef Kornar for the Sharks. Mike Krasinski. Glenn Gaudin for the Flames and Sean O'Leary. Thomas Harley for the Stars. David Rodriguez.
Uh, this is a randomizer between the Panthers and Kings. I think that's the only Young Guns checklist. Um, if we get multiple of those, Liam Foudy for the Blue Jackets, that is David Harrell. If we get multiple of those, then uh, if we get two, then we can just split them between the two teams. If we get more than that or an odd number, then we'll have to randomize them. Miko Lettinen for the Maple Leafs. David Harrell. That should be the only checklist one. Uh, Stuart Skinner for the Oilers. Eric Jacklich. Reese Johnson for the Blackhawks. Sean O'Leary. So yeah, if we end up with an odd number, I'll just split them between the two teams. If it's an even, uh, I mean, sorry, an even number, I'll split them between the two teams. If it's an odd number, we're going to randomize them. Uh, Brady Kachuk for the Senators to $29.99. Leo Cora. And Acetate of Yuso Valamaki for the Flames. Sean O'Leary. Jacob Ingham for the Kings. John Rubner. Cam Johnson for the Blue Jackets. David Harrell. Alex Diorio. Jens Koop. Young Guns. French variation. That's for the Penguins. And Eric Joklich. And Tim Stutzel, Future Impact. That is numbered out of 1,000 for the Senators and Leo Cor. Connor Mackey for the Flames. Sean O'Leary. Just past the halfway point. Keandre Miller for the Rangers. And Jason Wehner. Arthur Kaliev for the Kings. John Rubner. Creel Kaprizov for the Wild. Brian Croft. Ty Smith for the Devils. Jens McLeese. Joel Ofer for the Blues. Josh Exline. Cody Curran for the Ducks. Josh Exline. Cam Johnson, Blue Jackets. David Harrell. Alexi Hepnemi, French Young Gun, for the Panthers. Jens Koop, that is Patrick Fleming. So French variation there. Connor Mackey. For the Flames, Sean O'Leary, Jack Rathbone for the Canucks, Martin Klaus, Anze Kopitar to $29.99 for the Kings, John Rubner, and Kevin Lonkinen, Blackhawks, uh, Sean O'Leary, Kevin Ball for the Devils. Jens McLeese. And Connor McMichael for the Capitals. Sean O'Leary.
Michael Bunting for the Coyotes and Jason Wehner. Peyton Krebs for the Knights, Sean O'Leary. Ilya Sorokin for the Islanders. Uh, that is William Rosenthal. Dylan Cousins, that's numbered out of 1,000 for the Sabres and Patrick Fleming. Cameron Hillis for the Canadians. Martin Close. Pia Suter for the Blackhawks and Sean O'Leary. Artem Zub for the Senators, Leo Kaur. Alexis Lafernier to twenty nine ninety nine for the Rangers. Nice one for Jason Wehner. And Kevin Shattenkirk acetate for the Ducks and Josh X line. Alexi. Cole Holtz for the Kings. John Rubner. And Pia Suter for the Blackhawks, Sean O'Leary. Cal Foot for the Lightning, Mike Krasinski. Logan Stanley for the Jets and Sean O'Leary. And Josh Norris for the Senators, Leo Kaur. Jake Bischoff for the Knights and Sean O'Leary. Bowen Byram for the Avalanche to $29.99. Sean O'Leary. Ilya Sorokin for the Islanders and William Rosenthal. Tim Stutzel, that's to 300 for the Senators. Leo Kaur. Kevin Ball for the Devils. Jens McLeese. Cal Foote for the Lightning. Mike Krasinski. Liam Foudy for the Blue Jackets. And David Harrell. Austin Strand for the Kings, John Rubner. Arthur Kaliev for the Kings, John Rubner. Ilya Sorokin, Islanders, William Rosenthal. Arthur Kaliev for the Kings, John Rubner. And Pierre Oliver Joseph for the Penguins, Eric Joklich. Jack Rathbone for the Canucks and Martin Klaus. Thomas Harley for the Stars, David Rodriguez. Joel Hofer for the Blues and Josh X line. Cody Curran for the Ducks, Josh X line. Okay, we are three quarters of the way done. Three boxes left to go.
Uh, Philip Kurashev for the Blackhawks, Sean O'Leary. Nick Robertson for the Maple Leafs, David Harrell. Bowen Byram for the Avalanche, Sean O'Leary. Joseph Kornar for the Sharks and Mike Krasinski. Dylan Cousins for the Sabres, Patrick Fleming. Austin Strand, Young Gun Acetate for the Kings, John Rubner. And Jacob Robertson for the Stars, David Rodriguez. For sure we will. Kevin Ball for the Devils, and Jens McLeese, and Yanni Hankampa for the Ducks, Josh X line. Nick Robertson for the Maple Leafs, David Harrell. Philip Kurashev for the Blackhawks, Sean O'Leary. Uh, Bruce, that was to you, so yes, we will be. Cam Johnson for the Blue Jackets, David Harrell. Patrick Odrenko, that is a French variation. Jens Coop for the Rangers, Jason Wehner. Pia Suter for the Blackhawks, Sean O'Leary. Arthur Kaliev for the Kings, John Rubner. Dylan Cousins for the Sabres and Patrick Fleming. Jack Rathbone for the Canucks, Martin Klaus. And Connor Helbuck to $29.99 for the Jets and Sean O'Leary. Bowen Byram for the Avalanche, Sean O'Leary. Glenn Godin for the Flames, Sean O'Leary. Frederick Hondemark for the Sharks and Mike Krasinski. Reese Johnson for the Blackhawks, Sean O'Leary. Jacob Ingham for the Kings and John Rubner. Artemi Panarin to $29.99 for the Rangers, Jason Wehner. And Pierre-Luc Dubois for the Jets, Sean O'Leary. Ole Yolevi for the Canucks, Martin Klaus. And Ryan O'Reilly to $1,000 for the Blues, Josh Xline. Miko Lettinen, Maple Leafs, David Harrell. Tim Stutzel for the Senators, Leo Kaur. And to 500, Mitch Marner for the Maple Leafs, David Harrell. Vitek Vanashek for the Capitals and Sean O'Leary. Jake Odinger for the Stars, David Rodriguez. Yeah. 
Yosef Kornar for the Sharks and Mike Krasinski. And Pia Suter for the Blackhawks, Sean O'Leary. One box left. And then we got our randomizer to give away a sealed box. Uh, Matthew Barzal to 300 for the Islanders. William Rosenthal. Glenn Gaudin for the Flames and Sean O'Leary. Bowen Byram for the Avalanche. Sean O'Leary. Keandre Miller for the Rangers. Jason Wehner. Pia Suter for the Blackhawks and Sean O'Leary. Frederick Hondemark for the Sharks and Mike Krasinski. Drew O'Connor for the Penguins, Eric Joklich. Sasha Shimlevsky for the Sharks. Uh, that is Mike Krasinski. Alexander Romanoff for the Canadians to $29.99. Martin Klaus. Krill Kappers off Dazzlers for the Wild. That is Brian Croft. Nico Lettinen for the Maple Leafs. David Harrell. Reese Johnson for the Blackhawks. Sean O'Leary. Philip Kurashev for the Blackhawks and Sean O'Leary. And Jacob Ingham for the Kings. And John Rubner to finish it off. Now let's do the randomizer for that one box giveaway as well as this Young Guns checklist. We only got one of them. If we had two, we would have split them between the two teams. But uh, that'll go between the Panthers and the Kings. So let's pop over here. So, first randomizer is... Everybody's on there. Let's delete that. Uh, that is Panthers-Kings. For the Young Guns checklist. Between Alexei Hepanemi and Arthur Kaliev. And then the box giveaway, which was if you had two or more teams... Uh, so two teams, one entry, four teams, two entries, six teams, three entries, etc. We're going to copy the customer list over from Josh and the Ducks down to Sean and the Jets to a separate spreadsheet. Alphabetize. So Darren with two gets one. David with four gets two. Uh, Brian, thanks for getting in. David R., thanks for getting in. Eric with two gets one. Jason gets one. Jens, thanks for getting in. John, thanks for getting in. Josh gets one. Leo, thanks for getting in. Martin gets one. Mike gets one. Patrick gets one. And Sean gets three with seven teams. All right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And there you go. And William, thanks for getting in. So. From Darren down to Sean, if the computer wants to work, is 12. We'll copy that list and put that here as well. 
So Sean back up to Darren. So same dice roll, same randomizer for both randomizers. Two and a five, seven times. So first on the Young Guns card between the Panthers and Kings, seven times. Six. It was seven, right? Two and a five, seven times. That's going to go to the Kings and John Rubner. And seven times on the box giveaway. Good luck. What's up, Jake? Seventh and final time goes to Sean. Wow, Sean ended up with the top three. So it was a no-brainer or a definite win on that one. Seven times on the randomizer. Seven times on the dice. Sean on top with the free box giveaway. That'll be shipped to you sealed. And then the Kings, seven times on the randomizer. Kings on top on the Young Guns. And there you go, guys. That's the break. So that will go to Los Angeles Kings and John Rubner. Where is the post-it notes? There they are. There you go. And then the box. I just already have. I'll just throw a sticker on that as well. For Sean O'Leary. There you go. Congrats, Sean. We'll just put that on the corner of the box for you to make sure that it gets shipped out to you. There you go. And that is the break. That was 2020-2021 Upper Deck Extended Series Hockey 12-Box Case Break Pick Team number 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'm Sean, jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for hanging out, and we'll see you next time.